Hi, this is Susie with Creative Cafe, and I have a mini that I want to share. Um, this paper is from, it's a brand called TPC Studios. Uh, I've never heard of them, but I saw it at my uh, local scrapbook store. It has a real vintage feel to it. It was a double-sided paper, um, a good heavy weight uh, paper, and anyway, so I bought some of it. I just absolutely fell in love with it. And um, uh, the collection is called Memory Lane, and it's a nine by six uh, book. I um, have chipboard covers. I use the uh, nine by six catalog envelopes in it. I use the number six coin envelopes in it. It has two of them in there, and then I use the number twelve size just uh, envelopes that I get at Staples. Uh, in it. And then I use the Seven Gypsies uh, larger O-rings to bind it. And uh, on the front, and I did buy uh, the sticker collection that came with it. Um, and anyway, the butterfly, I just simply popped it up. I had to cut it out and then I popped it up on what was already the butterfly on the paper. And then um, this is just the coin envelope. I'm not going to slip this off, but this just slips off. That opens up. You can tuck something in it. And then I cut out a little piece that says, uh, uh, Memories Live Forever, and put it on the front. Kind of, kind of uh, popped it up a little bit there. This, I just simply cut this out of the paper, put the namesake uh, in that little space. It was just blank. Got a 4x6 photo mat there. Here is the number 12 envelope uh, right here. I have cut it down to fit the width of the book. Here's one of the stickers. I just made it a little journaling spot maybe for a couple of names or a date or something. And um, this is the paper. Remember when and you pull that out and here is the tag that uh, I made to go in the in the pocket there uh, the tags uh, the tag has the 4x6 photo mats uh, made a lot of wallet size photo mats in this book so and then this back side here is a 4x6 mat I just simply um, cut some of this out of the paper and on this page here, this is actually an envelope uh, that my friend Neri sent me. And I also used a flower um, that she sent me in here. Well, she sent me a lot of flowers, but I just used one of them in the album. But uh, anyway, this is just an envelope. Or, uh, yeah, an envelope. And um, I put a couple of the wallet size um, mats on it, but what I did was, I don't know if you can see this or not, turn the camera, I actually put a piece of cardstock in there to give the bag a little bit more of a, um, uh, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, a little more sturdiness, and also to create a divider if you wanted to place some kind of memorabilia in it. Now I did put the cardstock all the way down and then put my eyelets in so the so that piece of cardstock is not going to come out of here uh, because it is attached in them eyelets and I did use the jumbo eyelets in this album and then on the back of the envelope I made a 4x6 photo mat and then uh, let me get some of that adhesive off. I'm always finding adhesive when when I do an album that's got left on. And then here is a couple of the wallet size photos. And I've popped this up where the photo can slip behind. Here I have made um, just a, another, this is the envelope of course. And you can just um, pop that open. And of course there is your pocket. This is the catalog envelope. And I did just, you know, continue the paper on. 
four by six photo mat there. Whoops. And then um, this um, here is another one of the coin envelopes, and I've actually just closed it. Um, it doesn't have the um, flap on it. I made a spot for journaling there. And here is one of the flowers, and I, I just absolutely love these flowers. Um, this is a flower that my friend Neri made, and I'm going to put her link down in the description. So if you want to check out some of these flowers, you can. Um, she has a video where she has just made tons of flowers. And uh, anyway, this this page here, I made this out of a 12 by 12 sheet of the pattern paper. And this is one of the stickers that was in the uh, a package that you could buy separately. And anyway, I you open it up and what I have done is I have got the wallet size photos in here. This one is, I just tied up moments in time. I just uh, cut it out of the paper and I did tab it. I tabbed this uh, particular thing twice. So um, then once you open it that way, you close it and you can open it this way. And I'll see if I can get that all in here. And then I've got a photo mat here with a piece that says family portrait that I cut out of the paper. Here is just a journaling spot and I made another tab here. Uh, another little through the years there. And then this one also pops up. And it's just, uh, I've got generations, memories, and I made the photo mat there. And then I have another wallet size photo mat here. And then this just goes down. This just closes back up. Then this page here is another pocket with the envelope. Um, this is another one of the stickers here. It's a rose. And of course, I've made it where you can insert um, something in the in the envelope there. And then another 4x6 photo mat there. Here is another one of the number 12 envelopes that's been cut down so that it would fit. And then here is another 4x6, uh, two 4x6 photo mats there. And then I just left this plain, um, either for maybe a couple of pictures or even just some journaling. It's light enough that you could just journal on the paper. And then this page here, um, this is part of the paper. Let's see if I can get it all in frame here. It has an hourglass on it. It says through the years. And I've just put a wallet size photo mat there. And then this is the back cover. Um, I've added Family Legacy. Um, I added our history here and I've popped these up so that um, the photo can fit behind it and the photo can fit behind this also. And this is just another one of those uh, little pieces I've cut out and added a little booklet there for the journaling or the names. And then let me get this folded back over here. I always like to just close them the same way that I that I opened them. And then here is the back. I've just added my handcrafted just for you. Anyway, this is my vintage envelope mini. And like I said, I absolutely love the paper. I've never heard of this company before. I had never seen anything made by them, but the vintage paper is gorgeous. So, um, And don't forget to check out my friend Neri's uh, video on her flowers. And maybe if you need some, you can contact her. She makes really pretty gorgeous flowers. So um, anyway, thanks so much for